Hi, this is Garrett Pollack, and I'm in a group with Min, Gracie Season, and Armin, and we have chose to do our project over Scientology. So what is Scientology? Scientology is a religion based on the searching of self-knowledge and fulfillment with the ultimate goal of freedom of the mind gained through training and auditing, which I'll explain later. Now for the person who founded all of this, his name was Ron Hubbard, and all of this started when he published his book called Dianetics, The Modern Science of Mental Health. Hubbard initially thought of Dianetics as a science of the mind, but he later adapted his theories into a more religious approach, calling it the Church of Scientology. So what is Dianetics? Dianetics is the main teachings of Scientology and consists of a collection of theories that focus on eliminating mental illnesses and enhancing people's happiness and health by addressing traumatic experiences from the past. One of the practices from Dianetics is auditing which is a spiritual counseling procedure where one must reveal their truth and speak out about any wrongdoings they have done. And scientists, they, or Scientologists, they believe that through auditing, you can get rid of some of the reactive part of your brain and leave more room for the analytical part. They also believe that the stressors of the reactive side come from thetans and our past lives. So I'll explain what a thetan is now. A thetan is a person's spiritual essence, and a thetan is the person himself, not his body or his name or the physical universe, his mind or anything else. And Scientologists believe that approximately 75 million years ago, there was a galactic dictator named Xenu. Xenu was an extraterrestrial ruler of a galactic confederacy, and he brought billions of his people to Earth and proceeded to kill them with hydrogen bombs. It is believed that his men left their Thetons on this Earth when they died, and that the Thetons now latch onto humans, causing spiritual harm. Now to go over the steps and costs of this religion. Yes, costs of this religion. There are things such as communication courses, um, auditing, and then there are different levels of OT. And what OT stands for is Operating the Theton. And it basically represents your spiritual status. Um, Leah Ramini is a famous ex-member of Scientology, and she said that it'd be approximately 500,000 to reach the top tiers of Scientology. And uh, here's just a short list of celebrities that have practiced or are still practicing Scientology today. Some examples are Tom Cruise, John Travolta, and Elizabeth uh, Moss, who are still current members, and Leah Remini and Brad Pitt, who were members in the past. Leah Remini is probably one of the most popular people to have left Scientology. Um, she joined Scientology with her mother when she was a child, and she spent nearly three decades in the religion before she left. She left after years of seeing how corrupt the religion was, and she also says that she did not feel like a religion should dictate or mistreat their followers. And knowing the church is one thing, but to understand a lot about them, you have to see some of the happenings within and outside the church. The church themselves has had their fair share of controversy since their conception from criminal behavior from several members, organized harassment of anyone who opposes them, their disconnection policy, and so on. To name one of their most heinous controversies would have to be the death of Scientologist Lisa McPherson. On November 18, 1995, Lisa was involved in a minor car accident. After this car accident, she profusely refused any sort of health care, especially involving any psychiatric evaluation, and was instead sent to Fort Harrison Hotel, Scientology spiritual headquarters to be put under the watchful eye of the Flag Service organization for what the church said was rest and relaxation, but thought to have been an isolation watch for the 17 days she had left. Through care logs taken by the church, we see that Lisa McPherson's last few days were filled with mental and physical decline, such as incoherence and violence, bruised fists and feet from hitting the walls, refusal of food and water, inability to do basic tasks, etc. Ultimately, after several days, she was advised to be taken to a hospital. They were actually advised in the earlier days, but refused as they were scared to be put into a psychiatric care. Once they accepted she needed to be into a, hospi into a hospital, they drove to a fellow Scientologist doctor hospital 45 minutes away from their location and passed four hospitals on their way there. She was dead on arrival. Another controversy is within the act of disconnection. This is a form of shunning in which a Scientologist must disconnect themselves from anyone in their lives deemed antagonistic towards Scientology. The church has denied the existence in this policy, but has since February of 2012 endorsed this act and called it a human right. The church has tried to argue this policy in court, but has been repeatedly shut down due to the church forcing you to engage in this act. Now I'll recap the key points that our group want you to take away from this presentation. 
Scientology is a religion that is about the human mind and revealing someone's truth and wrongdoings. The founder of Scientology is L. Ron Hubbard, and he wrote a, the book about Dianetics. Um, the Theton is also the spiritual identity of an individual. Becoming a member of Scientology takes a lot of money. And finally, there are a lot of controversies involving Scientology, such as the death of Lisa McPherson and the religion's use of disconnection.